In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to add formulas inside of Smartsheet. And so if you would like to follow along, we have our basic sheet created here. And we want to use formulas for all sorts of reasons inside of any type of program like Smartsheet, where we can add columns, we can uh, sum them together, we can find out averages, we can check columns for data. So there's a lot of different reasons why you would use formulas, um, but we're just going to start with the basics and show you how it works. So we're going to put some data in here. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to number some columns here. Okay. And uh, we just put that in the primary column. That's just to give us some data that we can use to figure out some information. Now, to add a formula, you're just going to click on any cell and you're going to hit the equal sign. And when you do that, it's going to say that we are starting a formula and it's going to ask what kind of information would you like this cell to be? So, for instance, just really simple, we're going to hit equal and we're going to go over to this cell here on the primary column, row one, and we're going to left click. And what happens is we it's saying equals primary column, that's the column we're in, and then at row. And then this is the row that we're in, which is number one. We're going to hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to put a one into that cell. Because what's happening is that this cell is equal to whatever is happening in this column and in this row. So if we were to go down here and we do the same thing again, we hit equal and we click and hit enter. It's going to put a two there because now it's referencing uh, this column and this row. So if we were to go up here and let's say that we change this information to from a one to a zero and we hit enter. Now you can see that that formula is referencing that cell and it changes it to a zero because this cell is a zero. So if we put in any type of number here, it's going to reference. So that's the basics of how you add a formula inside of Smartsheet. Now, the great thing about this is that um, formulas give us a, a lot of things that we can do. We can reference not just the cell next to it, but let's say that we wanted to use this to reference this one down here. Well, if we go up here and we click on the cell and then we click on the blue formula here, it will allow us to edit it inside of that cell. So right now it says equals to the primary column. So we're looking at this column at row. Well, right now it's looking at the row that we're in, which is this one. And we don't want that. We want to reference row nine because we want to reference this nine. So instead of saying at row, we're just going to hit the delete button or backspace and delete that out. And we're going to put nine. So it's going to say, and you can see it turned blue here, equals primary column row nine, because that's the row that that is on. So now we hit enter and it changes it to a nine for us. Now, if we change this number, it will change it to whatever that number is because again, it's referencing the column and it's referencing row nine. Row nine has a hundred uh, under the primary column. And so we put a hundred there. And so we change this to um, whatever number we want and it will change that number for us. So we can do that um, and we can reference these. Um, something else that you can do is you can get into mathematical equations. And so we can actually uh, create formulas that will be equations so that we can add numbers together or average them and do all kinds of different things very easily. Let me just delete this out for a moment. And let's say that we have this uh, number here and uh, we're going to actually delete this. And we're going to go up to the cell and we're going to put equals. And now let's do just a simple mathematical equation. So we're going to say one plus one and we hit enter and it says two. So it's actually figuring out the formula for that addition uh, equation there. So if we put one plus nine, it would give us a 10. And you can do uh, nine minus one and it gives us an eight. So it will understand these basic mathematical equations. Well, we can take what we know about our cells and our rows and our columns and reference those to make um, uh, any type of math problem that you want, basically. So let's say that we wanted reference row seven has a seven in it. So we're going to say equal to 
And then we can actually just click the cell and it will put it in there for us instead of us having to type it out. Primary column seven, so primary column row seven. And we want to add that number, so we're gonna put a plus sign to let's say row five. So we're gonna click on this cell. So it says primary column row seven plus primary column row five. Now we know seven plus five is 12, so if we hit enter, it gives us a 12. So you can actually add up all of these different columns or you can subtract or you can use formulas in all kinds of different ways. We can actually add all of these numbers up together. What if we didn't know if we added all this, what this number was? Well, we could go up here. We could, um, let's just delete that. And then we're gonna hit the equal sign and we're gonna use a basic uh, formula function called sum. So we're gonna sum and as you see me typing, it's gonna show you all of the different formulas that are available. And when you uh, type, it will actually tell you what they do. So sum adds a series of numbers. That's what we want to do. We wanna add a series of numbers. Sum if adds numbers within a range that meet a specified condition. Sum if s add numbers within a range that meet multiple specified criteria. So, um, so we can click sum and if we left click on that, it will start filling out the information for us and it will say what it's looking for. So sum has to have parentheses. So you can see a, a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here. And then inside of those parentheses, it needs to have what numbers we're referencing. So what are we summing? Uh, number one, number two, and so forth. Or can we can reference other sheets. We can have examples and it gives more information here. Let's say that we wanted to sum the numbers one, plus two plus three again we need to close our parentheses out that's very important that you have those opening and closing parentheses and we hit enter and it gives us six because one plus two plus three is six and it summed it added all of those together well we can do the same thing by referencing ourselves so let's say that we click on this we're going to hit delete we're going to hit equals we're gonna type in sum, we're gonna give our parentheses that we need to have in here, and it's gonna say, what do we want to sum? We are going to left click on the first cell, and then we're going to hold the shift button down and left click on the uh, last cell here. And then we need to finish the, uh, the formula, so we're gonna hold shift and, and do our parentheses. So we have our beginning and closing parentheses. And now let's take a look at this in, uh, equation here. So it says, our formula is going to sum some numbers together. What numbers are we going to sum together? We're gonna to sum together primary column one. So it's gonna look at this first cell. And then you can see that it has a colon here. So this colon right here means to sum all of the cells in between these two. So that means, some primary column one, and then also two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then stop when you get to nine. So it's saying that that uh, colon there is saying to sum everything in between those two cells. So if we hit uh, this and then uh, we hit return or enter, it's going to add all of those up. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five, and it sums that information together. So that's how we use a basic formula to try to find out information that we want inside of Smartsheet. Now, something else that you can do is let's say that we, uh, we're gonna hit this here and we're gonna hold shift and we're gonna select the last cell. I'm gonna hit Command C or Control C on a PEC if you're using a PC. I'm gonna to go to this first cell and I'm gonna hit Command V on a Mac or Control V on a Mac. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna copy and paste those numbers in here. So that way we have those numbers pasted in. Uh, let's come in here and we're just gonna make that, uh, we'll make these centered, okay. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't center the primary column because it's primary column. Let's say that we wanted to add these two together. So we are going to hit equals. We are going to sum opening parentheses. We're going to select the first cell. We're going to hit comma and select the second cell. 
and then we're going to close our parentheses and we're going to hit enter. So let me click on that so you can see that again. So the formula is sum together some numbers. What numbers? Primary column, the row that we're on, and column two, the row that we're on. And it added those two together. One plus one is two. Well, let's imagine for a moment that we had a ton of data in here and we wanted to have that formula go all the way down this column uh, and calculate that data. Well, what you can do is you can click on the cell and you can go to the bottom right hand corner and your icon, your mouse icon will turn into these crosshairs. If we left click and we drag that down our column, it's going to give us a little message here. Uh, apply column wide formulas. You can now convert a formula into a column formula. Column formulas can't be overwritten and new rows automatically inherit that formula. We'll just hit OK. We'll take a look at that, that in a minute. But what happens is when we drag that cell, it's adding, so it adds this, it uses the formula here, and it adds these two ro uh, rows together, these two columns and rows together, and then this basically copied that formula and it adds these two, two plus two is four, and then it adds these two. So that's a quick way that you can actually go in and uh, duplicate your formula across a column. So let's take a look at what it was talking about. I'm going to hit uh, Command Z or Control Z to undo that. So if we select um, one of our formulas and we right click, we can go down to the bottom where it says convert to column formula. We're going to uh, hit this and it says apply formula to the entire column. So we're just going to left click on that. And what happens is it applies that all the way down for us. Um, and you can see that there's this little formula icon here and you can see that that is being controlled. So what happens now is no matter what I type in these boxes, this column is automatically going to calculate based on the formula that was specified originally. So if we come in and we put 10 and 10, it's going to add those together. 10 plus 10 is 20. And if I put 100, and 900 you can see it's a thousand so what's great about the column formulas is it will apply the formula all the way down the column for you so that is the basics of how you add formulas inside of smartsheet um, you can actually do a whole lot but i just want to give you the basics of how formulas work that way you can start messing around with them you can do some of your research into smartsheets help center and see all the different formulas that are available but hopefully that helps you out with learning how to add formulas into smartsheet